Hi everyone, I'm back. So this video is about the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, the classes and shopping. So if you haven't caught my last video, I put up a video about the Mega Make and Take, which is for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo here in Duluth, Georgia. This is a show guide that they give you when you register and check in along with the goodie bag. When you register, they give you the Wandering Planner Bag. This year we received the pe um, Perfect Paper Storage from Tolly Tiffany. As well as this bag for registration. So, these are the goodies that you get for registering for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. <laughs> um, for the crop. So, in here, the show guide tells you all about the schedule for Thursday. Friday and Saturday. It has a list of all the vendors. This year, there were way more vendors. They expanded the showroom floor, and you can see all of the vendors here that they had. Some new, um, some that came back that hadn't been here in a while. Um, yeah, so it was lots of fun, lots of shopping to do. This one tells you about the vendor make and take so you can do make and takes at certain booths you can also do the mega make and take um, some are for free and then some have a cost okay so it has a list for that then the buttons in my last video I shared with you my lanyard so if you collect I think it's four or five buttons then you get your lanyard and then new for the show you can add these limited edition buttons with all of these for the state of Georgia. Um, just a girl with some scissors. Foxy Craft Lady Rockstar. Crafty Girls Rule the World. Um, this Crafting Life is Beautiful. And the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo button. So that was pretty fun to get. Here is a list of the workshop and the classes. So when you register, um, pre-register, you can see which class you want to sign up for. I signed up for the Delicate Blossoms and Shape Cards by Heartfelt Creations. And here is the cards and projects that we created. So really pretty, pretty intricate die. So this was already pre-cut uh, along with this. And then they had the flowers stamped, but we added the ink, the prills, and the glitter. So this is the first card. This is the second card, which is called the envelope fold birthday card. So here, this card has the die is cut into so if you had an envelope, they just took out the other side of the envelope and it was layered so you could put any type of stamp sentiment in there. And I just thought that was really pretty. So that is that one. Let me open up this card. This is a beautiful die. I, I remember I picked this die up last year. Very pretty. And so here it is. And so it's just a five by seven card with a layer behind it and the die along with the flowers. And then lastly, this is the tag. It's called the friend pocket card. So here it is. Um, it's a card for the tag and here's the tag in the front. And you can add, you know, a gift card to this. You can add any type of sentiment. Uh-oh, stuck. Oh. You can add any type of sentiment to that and the pretty flowers. So I love Heartfelt Creations. I, I do at least one of their classes every expo because they are very generous and they give you a free stamp um, when you take their class. So I'll come back and share the stamp um, a little bit later. And so here is the Bloom and Grow by Pinecone Press. And this is a Graphic 45. Um, mini album so here it is it's some very pretty paper 
Now, this class pretty much gives you the foundation of how to build the mini album. These are the um, paper layers on the inside. And I stopped it <laughs> making this, and I do this every year because I forget to bring my ink. And so she just go through really quick. You have to pay attention to which part of the paper you're gonna cut in order to make your um, pages, your front cover, back cover, because there's particular um, papers that you would use for that. They actually gave us a full eight by eight paper pack for this, which is the Floral Shop paper pack. And in addition, a few sheets of the 12 by 12 to make this album. So I'm gonna have to finish this up that was the second class I took on Friday and then on Saturday I took two classes which were the Queen and Company C and Shop trunk show and the wreath builder um, by craft fancy so the Queen and Company I've never taken a class with them because they always sell out so this year they did something different they you pretty much go in and they give you a review of their new products and this is what came in the class that they gave us in the class so we actually was able to make this card uh -oh. this card here this cute little shaker card and you know Queen and Company has some really nice um, what they call toppings in their shape shaker bit so this is a cute on this day a queen is born really cute it's a little small A2 card. I like so this is a top folding card. And then this is an extra one for dad. So I can put this together. They had this cute little purse die, which they had on the picture when you register. So I just thought this is cute. And I hope this is a die. I meant to find out if that's a die or what. But they also gave us, look at this cute little shopping basket. This is the shopping basket that they gave us with some of their toppings, which is little yellow, pink, and blue shaker bits. So I thought this was so cute. And they gave us, what was different this year was they gave us a voucher to spend in their booth for $25. So I'll come back and share that in a little bit. Next up, my class. The last class I took was Craft Fancy, and they showed you how to do, to build a wreath. And so the products they used, and these cards turned out so pretty. And look at the um, Nouveau Drops. So we use Nouveau Drops. So myself and the lady next to me, if you can see, the idea was to stamp the same flower in the same ink all the way around so when I stamped my purple she stamped hers we liked each other's purple so we just swapped and made it our own and did an alternate color flower and building the wreath and this was using some Gina K design um, stamps and the wreath builder template that she had so this is the first flower which is wishing you the best birthday ever this is another one, which sending handmade hugs. And in fact, this square card, four by four square is the same. This is the same, but we actually just split this card in half, extended it and put her oval die and sentiment in there. So I thought that was really cute. And so it was not hard to use this. And this is the way that you use this is using a template is in any type of stamp platform. They featured the Misty because they have that, they carry that in the booth. They also color carry other stamp platforms. So this is a really easy thing to do. And it was a new technique for me. And then the last card is this one, the happy birthday to you. So of course, um, for their booth, they also, um, Brian was able to, they provided us with a voucher to spend. They signed your uh, ticket for your class to spend in the booth. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you.
some items that I pick up, picked up. So first up is Heartfelt Creations. I was able to, I chose this stamp as my free stamp. So this is some pretty butterflies. I've had the other butterflies that they have in their collections. So this is one very pretty butterfly. Very pretty butterfly. So I got that one. I got the next one was as a matter of fact this butterfly was in a class that they had and that I didn't take so when you see this um, I believe Veronica and Brenda and I guess everyone else in the class took the class with this butterfly and it was so pretty so I did choose this butterfly as my free one um, next from their booth I picked up the die that made the card this card so I picked up this one really pretty so here are the cuts that it make the different cuts next Veronica showed us this really uh, gorgeous candlelight poinsettia and I do have their other poinsettia uh, dies and stamps so I added this to my collection so I got this stamp and die next I found oh yeah so he exited out because I did use it for my class so this one was the uh, blossoming home flower and the projects and samples that they had in their booth this is such a pretty flower and at first I was just like oh, I wouldn't want it this is a beautiful beautiful flower especially with the samples that they had so I went ahead and picked up the stamp and die for that and lastly in their booth they had a section for uh, clearance items so I picked up this stamp set which is really really nice and I love the praying for you banner just for you the love at first I was like oh I really don't need that but Brenda stamped and used this on a card she made and it's gorgeous so I didn't get the die but I do have a scanning cut so I can go ahead and cut that out awesome next um, for Queen and Company class this is what I have next to me oh no craft fancy I picked up these cute um this really cute stamp set because i really couldn't decide in there um i had pretty much reached my budget limit i guess <laughs> but i thought i would get this this is a really nice little thank you friendship um stamp set to get so i got this and the nouveau pen um because i like this pen i actually have this um already in my stash so this is what I picked up from Queen and Company is my free um, my with my voucher. I'm sorry. <clears throat> this is a little baby. I'm into making a baby album and baby cards. My niece just had a baby girl. And so I just thought this was so cute to add to my stash. And along with some toppings from their booth, I got these thinking of Christmas so I got these toppings this red and this white or clear toppings so I picked that one up from Queen and Company um, let's see what else so I believe that was it that I purchased from for my classes um, some uh, more shopping oh I wanted to share this so for the mega make and take in the crop night so for Friday night and Saturday night crop they give you a $20 voucher. In the past, you, you used to have to choose your paper paper kits. They used to give you page kits um, at the expo. You would select it online, and they'll give it to you at the show. Well, this year, last year, they started with a $20 voucher. So there's a booth that they are partnered with. It's the expo booth. And so in there, you can spend your $20 voucher. Um... I didn't really like the selections that they had this year, but I did come across this bag, which is super cute. And 
They didn't have this one out the first time that I went by the booth. And when they empty it out, because people can shop and pay, you know, whatever at that booth. But this time when I went back, they had this bag, which is really cute. So I picked this one up with my one voucher. And then I found this other, chose this other bag because you can never have too many shopping bags. So I love both of these. And then crafting is cheaper than therapy. I thought that was a play on the cheaper than therapy booth because they that booth is a really nice booth to get dyes from. And they have the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo um, shopping wagon. And this is, I do have a red wagon. And yeah, my bag probably look like that. So that's what I got um, with my shopping voucher from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Next, I wanna share some uh, items that I purchased. Uh, how can I do this? Hopefully I can do this in two videos, maybe one. Um, for is Cheaper Than Therapy, their deal, they presented, um, of course, for the uh, project for the Mega Make and Take, and they were having a deal of buy two dies, get the third one for free. And the special went into the Friday and Saturday, and that was for anyone who came before, I guess, 10 o'clock. But if you were there for the Megan Make and Take, you can extend that deal throughout the day or for the whole weekend. So there was no limit to that time frame. So this is the die that I picked up because we did make the cute little dress, um, the dress box. So really nice um, die. It's a thin little die by Sigzits. So I picked that up. Some other ones, and I can't tell you which how the deal went, but it was buy three, get one free. So I also picked up this new release from Tim Holtz. I have some other dies of his from the new release, but I picked up this one, which it looks like for Halloween, but one of the new, um, the designers for this new release showed this for Christmas, and it's really nice. So I picked this one up. I also picked up this one. They had a really nice, this makes some nice tags. So got this. I picked up this one, part of the new collection as well. This is the cauldron. Again, this looks like it's for Halloween, but the sample that one of the designers created was using this as a Santa bag. Really cute. I also picked up this one from Tim Holtz. This is part of his new release. It is the potted plant, still real, really nice. And he said that he has not put out a basket or anything for his flower dyes, and that's true. So he has lots of flower dyes, and you can mix and match them with this right here. Lastly, the last dye that I picked up was this one, and I'm into retro telephones, typewriters, anything, clocks, all of it and here is his light bulb so I picked this up and this is a really nice one to have for great ideas you can do cards for great idea masculine I picked this one up and here are the embossing folders this new 3d embossing folders this one is elegant yeah it's elegant so it's a flourish picked up this one this one here is called Crackle. And then I, so I, I know I did this buy two, get one free with this one. And this one is called the Winter Snowflake. So I'm going to stop this video right here for this part of the video for Stamp and Scrapbook Expo classes and shopping. And I'll be back for my next video. Bye.